may want to create a visually rich document such as a PowerPoint presentation which will engage and inform your audience. Unfortunately, if you insert many detailed pictures such as those created using a high megapixel device, this will cause your document to use up a lot of hard disk space, which will make it load slowly and possibly hang. You might also find that you encounter problems if you try to email, print or save it. Luckily, when you compress the pictures in your document, you reduce the file size without compromising the quality of the picture. And unless you want very detailed photo quality prints, compressing your pictures will speed up printing time without affecting the print quality. Here we have a very short two slide presentation which contains many high quality pictures. To compress the pictures, select one. This will show the picture tool's format contextual ribbon. Select it to bring it to the front. Alternatively, you can double click on any of the pictures and it will have the same effect. Have a look in the adjust group and find the compress pictures option. Click on that to open up the Compressed Pictures dialog box. You can see that the option there is Apply to Selected Pictures Only. We want all of the pictures within our presentation to be compressed, so we're not going to select that. We are, however, going to check the options to see what compression settings we have enabled. Our settings show that the compression will happen when we save our presentation. It also shows that if there are any cropped areas, um, those parts of the pictures will be deleted. We don't have any cropped pictures within our presentation, but it's not going to hurt to keep that option selected. We can also select the target output. This allows you to select how much your pictures will be compressed by. I want to email this presentation, so I'm going to select the email option, which compresses the pictures to 96 pixels per inch. Click on OK to accept the compression settings, then OK again. Remember, the compression won't happen until we save our presentation, so I'm just going to quickly save it. At the moment, the presentation is called Compressing Pictures Before. I'm going to change the name to Compressing Pictures After. And I'm going to exit the presentation. So here we have Compressing Pictures Before. To see the file size, right-click on the document, select Properties from the shortcut menu, and we can see there that the size of the first one is 584 kilobytes. Let's OK that. Let's check the file size of our compressing pictures after, and we can see that the file size has been reduced to 152 kilobytes, which is nearly four times smaller, which as you can imagine, if you're trying to save lots of presentations onto a memory stick, you'll be able to get a lot more if you compress your pictures than if you don't. Mm -hmm.